I got Balcones Baby Blue Corn Whiskey. Stick around if you want to learn more. See you in a bit. Hey and welcome back Whiskey Questers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Antonio. In this channel I'm going to review whiskeys from all over the world. I like to add a touch of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try it. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and hit that right now with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos. Let's move on with this review. So this video is possible because of one of the subscribers, Dean. He was nice enough to give me two samples, but today we're going to be looking at the Balcones Baby Blue Corn Whiskey. So Balcones is one of those craft distilleries that has been getting a lot of attention. Specifically, this Baby Blue Corn is one that I've been wanting to try. This has great reviews, so I'm pretty excited to give this one a try. This will be the first time I try this. So this is a corn whiskey bottled at 46% ABV that's 92 proof, and it gets its name from the blue corn that they use to make this. And for it being a craft whiskey, it actually sells for a reasonable price. Only 40 bucks for a 750. 40 bucks can be a lot of money for some people to spend on a bottle that they're not sure if they're gonna like. I know it is for me, so doing these whiskey reviews isn't cheap. So if I go and spend more than $30, I'm hoping that that bottle is gonna be uh, pretty good or at least decent. So sometimes if you see samples like this and you're not too sure if you're gonna like it go ahead and just pick one of these up um, even though sometimes you might think hey if I add another 20 30 bucks I could just get me the whole bottle but I really do like trying these sometimes especially if you're not too sure about the purchase you're about to make either that or come on and watch some of my reviews some of the other whiskey reviewers which brings me to this challenge coin that I got from iWhiskey She Wines. It's a great channel that I've been following. Um, they're pretty recent, but they're getting a lot of traction so far, and for good reasons, because they're uh, husband and wife doing whiskey reviews, and if you're married, you're gonna get a kick out of their videos. <laughs> Welcome to iWhiskey She Wines. I'm Bobby. I'm Sam. You guys see the abuse I have to put up with? And if you're not married, at least you'll know what you're getting yourself into. These challenge coins fit on top of your Glen Karen glass perfectly to hold in some of those aromas. So let's see how much I pick up on this whiskey right here. These are actually pretty good to purchase from whatever channel's offering them just to show your support. You know, they're only 10 bucks or so. So let's see what we get on the nose with this one whiskey right here. I'm so excited to get into the whiskey that, you know, let's take a quick look, just one quick second, and let's take a look at this color right here. You have like a really it's a pretty light color, but it's, it's I mean, for being aged in Texas, which they don't age it for too long, but because of that high heat climate that they have over there, they get away with uh, aging stuff uh, for not too long. So I'm assuming maybe this is somewhere under a year or just close to two years. I'm not sure, but it has a nice honey kind of color going on. All right, let's move on to the nose. Now we can do that. The other corn whiskeys that I've tried before have been the Sierra Norte Mexican whiskey and they too use different strains of corn for their whiskeys and it's pretty familiar. I mean, it's going to be a corn whiskey. You're going to get a lot of that corn sweetness. You really do get that corn. Get some like caramel and earthy note going on too. I'll see a little bit of butterscotch going on also, but overall it's very, very sweet on the nose. I don't get much oak out of this, but super sweet on the nose. All right, let's move on to the taste. Let's see what happens. Cheers. Wow. Holy moly, this is really good. Just by this first sip, I can tell you guys, this definitely beats that Sierra Norte Mexican whiskey. I mean, I'll, I'll link those up here, one of them, so you guys can check that out. But wow, let me go in for a second taste here. Cheers. Oh, man. All right, so you get some spiciness throughout the whole tasting of this whiskey right here. You get that corn. It's more like a, to me, when I'm tasting it, it I, I'm, I can't help but picture corn husk. Like, like after you've taken off all the corn from the husk and it's just there, for some reason that's what I'm getting. Yeah, toasted, toasted corn. Might be that barrel char mixing in with the corn flavors. There's a dark chocolatey influence going on too in the finish. I say this is medium to long on the finish and it it just lingers with that 
that corn charred kind of flavor. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with this one right here, guys. So let's add one drop of water and see what happens with it. Be right back. So Belcones just started distilling not too long ago. They started in 2009, so we're in 2019. So I'm not sure what month, but it's, hey, it's, they've been, been in business for a good 10 years now. And I like the fact that they use copper pot stills to distill their whiskeys and they, they're not cutting any corners. All right, so let's get on with the nose with a little bit of water added and see what we get. Definitely got a lot sweeter. Now I'm really getting that butterscotch. Still getting that like earthy, it's like, like a grassy note. But hey, butterscotch, it's the number one thing that's like really taking over this time. I can't, I can't get past that butterscotch and see if there's anything else really. I guess it reminds me of like smelling something that's like humid, but but not in a bad way, I like it. I like this a lot. All right, let's move on to the taste here, guys. Cheers. Got toned down a little bit. You still get that spiciness throughout. That corn char that I was getting is also a little bit lighter. It's still there. So I guess this would be like if you tried it and you thought it was too much for you, just add a drop of water. But I honestly think that it was perfect without any water added to this. I'd say it still has a pretty good medium finish going on with that char and that corn sweetness you get a really nice buttery kind of silky maybe in the mouthfeel enough for you to savor those flavors really good whiskey all right so my final thoughts on this guys as you might already know this is a highly recommended whiskey at the price 40 bucks I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. I definitely uh, recommend getting it to 750. All right, once again, I wanna thank Dean, and I also wanna thank iWhiskey She Wines for the fast delivery on their challenge coin here. Dean, bro, this is a really good whiskey. I can't wait to try the next one, which I'll be reviewing within a few days. <sighs> Blue corn, my new favorite. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, go ahead and give me a like. Share with your friends and don't forget to leave me a comment below. Have you tried this one yet? What do you guys think? Hey, if you've been watching for a while and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do that right now with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos. See you on the next one. Bye.